Hi, uh, my name is Abi from 3D Tech. So today what I'm going to do is basically I want to actually just show how to create this uh, nifty little uh, corner window. So the one I'm going to I'm going to show is not as intricate as this, but um, it would actually give you a basic principle in terms of how to create a simple corner window, right? So um, now if you look at windows, right? So you can see that a uh, window is actually being created from a proper Revit family uh, template, right? Uh, what we need is actually go to the templates and then start from there. So what you can do is that you can start to create new family, all right? And you just go and check this out from metric window there. Just click open and you'll always get this okay because this is hard coded into the software so it will actually give you a wall okay but that does not mean that you cannot make a window that does not rely on wall because it actually depends on this okay so this is actually the uh, family category and parameters that you can actually play with all right and because this is actually from a template so it comes with this preset uh, sizes okay uh, it's not just preset sizes but also preset dimensions that being defined okay inside the template itself and you could not change this it is there and you could just straight away use it okay now um, what I'm going to do is basically when you look at the 3d model you can see that uh, there is a wall here and this wall acted pretty much similar to the wall that you can get in the project so you can see that uh, you can actually play around with the structure and thickness and whatnot. Um, that's not that's not what I want to get at. I want to get at into this. There is an opening cut there. How you get to that one? Just move your cursor near to that opening. You can click on that, and you can just go and delete that. See, so now you don't have that anymore. So. Uh, opening cut is good if you want to do a normal window, but if you want to do a, um, a, norm, a, a corner window, then opening cut would not do it for you. All right. So I'm going to go to the exterior view, so you can see that we have that. All right. And if I go to the reference level, you can see that okay, the width is there, the size is there. Okay. So uh, for this one, okay, for corner window, you need to add a few more parameters. You cannot just rely on this because uh, corner window will actually have another parameter that define not just this width but another width this way. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to go to home, all right, and then select reference plane. Let me just click the reference plane there. Okay, do not get confused between reference plane and reference line. It's two different thing, and you can just go and get this dimension not from the center of the wall but to this one reference plane so just click this one okay get that one done okay and go to this type okay uh, this line here okay the green colored line here all right and what you can do is that go and add parameter so i'm just going to give it a simple name with two okay so keep it type okay but this one will not be reported into your project because it's a family parameters and not shared parameters I can go uh, and discuss this later, right? So just click OK. So you have that. So you want to test this? You can just give it a test. So it will actually go show you that, all right? So now, uh, like I said before, if you want to actually create a corner window, you could not rely on the opening. So you need to actually create another thing that would actually cut into the wall. Uh, that would be the void forms, all right? So you can actually go and create this void extrusion. So just click that point extrusion. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to actually create this uh, rectangular shape like that. So I want to actually get it over this side a bit more because uh, when you actually, when you get it into a project, okay, if you don't do this, you would have problems to 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 uh, to get it into the wall properly. So I mean, it, it is a good idea to actually have this portion here. So I'm just going to actually give it a dimension. Uh, this one is a fixed dimension. So let's say uh, I don't have wall is thicker than 300. So I'm just going to make it that and lock it. Okay. For this side here, so I'm going to lock it in with this. And this side here, I'm going to actually lock it with this reference plane. So that's lock and lock. I have another one to do, which is this one here. So same thing. 
so I'm just going to actually give it a little bit bigger in size 600 so I can just have that and I'm going to lock this as well so I need to actually that one is locked done okay so once that's done you can just go and finish edit mode so we will create that that is actually a void all right so go to exterior you have this okay and these are all shape handles okay you can't you cannot move this and that because that one has been locked so i need to actually move it up here and lock bring this one here and lock so in 3d it looks like you have a box jutting out of a wall so now we can actually use this tool join geometry to or no cut geometry tool so this is like a boolean operation right we don't have a boolean command but you can actually use this okay so you can just cut geometry right then done right so the next thing that i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to actually create i mean the shapes right so um i guess this one is uh, simple this, this is quite simple to do but i just want to actually use a different method to do this all right uh, before this we have actually used a box to define the cut away uh, shape for the wall all right so what i'm going to do next is basically i'm going to go and use another box uh, but this one this this time i'm just going to stick to the reference planes that i have and i'm going to actually go and do it like this okay and just finish that okay so this would be a solid box all right so just go back to the reference level here okay go to the exterior view just drag it over all the way up to this and lock and drag it there and lock. So what you'd be getting is this. You'd get this reference plane or references that you can actually use to create your alright your window. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is basically alright uh, because this box could not be as big so let's say that I mean I'm going to actually have that 75 here all right so this one here I need to actually go and I did this extrusion one more time uh, I don't want it to be locked here but I want it to be locked at this distance because my frame is going to always be 75 so this one here I'm just going to actually make it you can use this equal 75 divided by 2 all right so you have that distance there all right so what you can do is that you can just lock this thing now all right and okay just finish this okay so the next thing that i am going to do is i'm going to actually use okay a sweep to actually sweep around that to actually create the shape i can also hide this all right um let me just go and of that okay i can actually go and hide this hide element so i just have that all right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to actually use this tool okay sweep and i'm going to actually go and pick path so i'm just going to actually go and select this this one first because it's easy for me to actually define it from the top all right okay and then go to reference level here okay so uh, what I want to do is basically just uh, finish that okay and then go to sketch profile okay edit profile all right and I can draw this all right so I'm just going to actually draw a shape like that uh, I'm going to lock it here okay I just give this a dimension from here to there and from here to there okay if this dimension is a bit too big you can always change the scale one to five or whatever scale that you think appropriate so again this is going to be 75 divided by two all right so this is going to be i'm just lazy to count uh let me delete that okay put it back to that dimension just like this okay i can change that all right 75 divided by two okay if you don't have an equal sign, you just put it there, and I can just lock this and lock that. Okay, or you can actually just make an equal sign. So this one, this is not that critical for me. I'm just going to actually put that 25 there. All right, so that is the thickness there. 
and I'm just going to actually finish it okay and just finish it one more time so you are getting this okay I just type TL to show it in thin line so you're going to be getting that see that that's your free okay so the next thing that I want to do is that I want to make this invisible because I don't want it to show in my project so just go and change that so that is invisible Okay, it's a good idea for you to test your dimension now, alright, um, I can bring back the wall, okay, reset temporary height, isolate, alright, just to make sure that it works, okay, so what I can do is that I can test this, okay, so with, I mean, I just make this also 900 and this one 1200 and apply, so you can see that, okay, I mean, it worked beautifully okay it worked just nice right so the other thing that i need to do is i need to actually go and create the glass okay this is a little bit tricky uh tricky but i mean you you can actually get it done uh so how am i going to actually put in the glass you need to actually go and do another extrusion all right and this time around i'm going to depend on okay what i've got here so basically i'm just going to not chain it okay just do it one by one so that i can do this lock so like this one here and lock and lock all right and i can just go and move it up here a little bit okay then and lock all right so the idea is to lock this thing right so maybe your your thickness should not be 10 okay but it doesn't matter i'm just going to actually do it now Okay, depends on the thickness of glass that you wanted. So I'm just going to actually make it stop there, and from here, click and drag it to this side. So it will automatically trim that. So how to maintain this distance? I can just force it over with this dimension and locking it. All right. Uh, but you need to be careful about how much or to what degree you want to actually. Um, uh, play with the uh, constraint because sometimes you would have a situation where you constrain too many things together and that's not pretty all right so i'm just going to finish this okay so just go to the exterior all right and maybe just go to the interior also all right that's better so what i can do is that i can just go and click it to this one here and lock and i can go to this one here and lock right so in 3d i'm gonna have that okay so i mean it's a good idea to actually give it a proper subcategory so i can just put that under frame okay and the other one here this is going to be subcategory under glass you can start to actually go and put in materials and whatnot but we're not here to do that right so I'm just gonna save this, okay? So I'm just gonna save this as a family, okay? So just put that inside my service, okay? Here, right? So this is going to be okay. Window. So you need to have a good naming convention. Corner. So I always use that, okay? As a, I mean, indicator of a window. All right, save. So you have that there. So let's see how it behaves in the project. All right. So now I can load into a project. I have already got this project open. So what I can do is that I can just go and place it here. All right. So I can place it here, but you can see that I'm gonna have difficulty in placing this one. Um, let's go back to window. All right. So I can have that and i can put it here and voila so if you go to this one here you can see that hey that's a nifty corner window all right so um you can change the seal height you can change the head height you can even change this okay so let's say that this is going to be 600 this is going to be 2400 and apply so just go and do that just great which means that it's working you see that because i make the box invisible it is not gonna be showing in my project okay so there you go that's how you actually create a corner window and thanks for tuning in bye